Hello everyone on YouTube, it's Jordan here again with another exciting video. Man, I do love reviewing these old vintage items and I've got another one to show you today. Um, I think this was from 1996 or something, 90s to 2000. But this here is the Oregon Scientific Accelerator X18 Interactive Educational Talking Desktop. As you can see, we'll take a look at the physical description. This came to me in brilliant working condition. I've had it for a while now. Um, you get 80 activities ranging from English, maths, logic and games and all, and every um, and uh, quite a lot of fun stuff to do. Um, on the back here is one of those um, old mouse PS2 mouse ports where you can connect to mouse. This originally would come with a mouse. Got the Oregon Scientific logo. Takes three double, no four double A's. Let's just open it up and see what we've got here. We have a, a realistic keyboard, which is nice to tap on, especially when playing games that involve typing. Um, as you can see, the keys feel realistic. I mean, very common for computers around about the, the time this thing was released. This is made in um, Oregon, USA, Oregon Scientific. There's an old, there's a trackpad here. Um, very common on laptops of the day. You'd have your arrow keys because laptops, gym, back in those days, didn't have those um, trackpads that you you that you can put your finger on to scroll on. It was just like a little ball thing. So that's all this computer actually has. So let's go and fi let's fire it up and see what we can do with this thing. So we've got the on/off button here. Well, volume and contrast. Very nice screen, I believe. I might need a bit of cleaning though, but still. So let's power it on. Oregon Scientific, get ready for fun. Please enter a game code. You can tell this is retro because of the sound chip inside. So we asked to pick a game code. Now a lot of these games. They're actually good actually, there's 80 of those to choose from and it's asking me to, to type in a number so in order to play one of the games you have to type in the number associated with the game so 01 for instance is spell time but we want to, let's go to number 20 Two. 20 Zero. Type the letters quickly to win the race. Oh, how do you play this again? Not bad. You'll get it next time. Oh. Do you know, it's a long time since I've messed about with this. Like I said, I've had this for absolutely ages. I only just found it the other day. Uh-oh. Didn't even know we were even bringing it with me. I didn't even plan on moving with this thing. Uh back in June 2017. Not bad. You'll get it next time. I mean, a lot of these games are very difficult for someone who can't see like me. So let's just play another game. Let's just choose another Please one. Enter a game whenever, you wanna, whenever you want to play another game on this Oregon Scientific laptop, you just press this button here or that button over there, the escape key. But as you can see, you've got, you also have the alt key, which very rarely comes in handy. Uh, the button that would be your Windows key would be the demo. Would be the demo mode. So let's see what demo does. This will give you a proper overview of what this um, educational device is capable of doing. Because after all, this company, um, they were the the Oregon Scientific were competing with VTech at the time. So let's let's see what this thing can do. Oregon Scientific, get ready for fun. There are lots of amazing games and activities, super cool sounds, and amazing four-channel music. There are word games to increase your vocabulary, math activities, memory games, amazing animations. It's all part of the next generation of learning fun from Oregon Scientific. Please enter a game code. Now, of course, when you first get... 
these in the box. The Edge recommendations, I've had a look, and it says 7 and upwards. Because a lot of the maths games are quite tricky. So the maths games are not recommended for those under 7. So please enter a game code. Let's go for another game code. I'm going to show you some. I'm going to show you most of the activities. Well, not all of them. I'll show you some of them. So let's go to them. Three, thirty, five, five. Selective memory. Oh, I remember this. Pink. Bowling. Canoe. Selected memory. Dragon. Select the first word. So what? So what you just saw there, I don't know if you could see it on the screen, but there's a grid, and there are four words in the grid. So what you've got to do is, what it's asking me now. Select the first word. So whatever the first word, it'll say the word, and whatever the first word was, you have to find that word in the grid. The grid is not ordered the way the words were said. So it's jumbled, and you have to remember where the word, you have to remember what word it was. I mean, this is part of the memory training category. So, of course, if you get it wrong, you'll get this. Nearly, but not quite. Let's try this, in. let's try this one. I hope this trackpad still works. Nearly, but not quite. Not bad. You'll get it next time. This is the correct answer. Camel. Eagle. Earth. Fortress. Select the second word. Again, this is not just your ordinary cheap educational device. You get scores on based on how well you do. And depending on how good your score is, you'll get leveled up. So that would be, say, in the maths games where you'd get harder equations to solve. Let's Please just take a look at some of those. Code. I believe the maths games are 27. Balancing Act. Balancing Act. Which of these equations has the largest value? So this is one of the maths games. So I think, although I can't see the screen and I can't focus the camera toward it, Basically, you have a list of equations, and you're looking for the one with the largest value, so basically the answer has to be a big number, for instance. Of course, it doesn't read out the equations, which is a shame. I wish Oregon Scientific could have Please put something like that in there. Uh, let's try another one, real quick. Two. Twenty. Zero. Oh, we've already done twenty. Oh, great. Type the letters quickly to win the race. Let's try another one. Come Please on. enter a game code. Two. Twenty-five. Multiplication. Complete the equation. Oh, there we go. Here's, the, here's our main maths games. Um, obviously, you have addition first, which is number 23. Subtraction. And then we've got multiplication and division. Um... A word of warning, if you want to play the maths games um, and you're visually impaired, you're going to want sighted assistance. Um, mainly because the key, the machine doesn't tell you the question. I don't know if the space bar even works. Do you even need it anymore? Uh, let me Please enter a that. game code. Oh yeah, it does work. Everything seems to be up and running. So yeah, in the maths games, um, if you get an answer like 27 in the equation you're given, you have to tap 27 the other way around. In, in other words, turning the number upside down, 7, 2, because of the way the column is laid out. Um, and now we've got all the recreation stuff I want to show you. Five, eight. So, you've got some fun stuff. Screensaver. Like screensaver. Choose a screensaver. Now, um, I believe, depending on the model you get, you get different screensavers. I mean, the default one is a bird. Kite, bear, ship, pl airplane. Let's select this. I'm going to plane. Please enter a game code. 
I've found them, I read the manual ones, so we don't have the manual anymore. It's been a while since we had this thing. The Menaka must have been about 10 when we had this thing. Wow. We also had the uh, power desktop as well. I mean, these, these sold really well and then they stopped selling them back in 2009. I think these were around since the 2000s. Correct me if I'm wrong. So let's, let's see if I can find any of the music games. Rhythm section. Oh, there we go. This Play is one of the drums. music sections. Now, the music sections on these... Uh, on these things are really fun, that rhythm section. You have a full drum kit. I don't know if the camera's picking up that, but you can hear drum sounds. Let's Please just go on to the one. There used to be a, a rhythm on the power desktop called Beat Catcher, which was exactly the same thing. Five, Five three. three. Pattern play. Choose a melody for playback. So, pattern play just allows you to play certain songs, like it'll... Uh, let's listen to the default song. So again, you use your fancy laptop style trackpad and you can choose different tunes. So let's play this one. Let me know in the comments if you want me to show off all the songs of this kit, of this thing. Because I will do that, you know. Let's listen to one last one. Choose oh, yeah, the melody for playback. You can press escape to exit out of the, out of the song. In the English section of this uh, of the activities on this thing, there are some punctuation testing games as well. Oregon Scientific are known for those. Let's play this one. Choose a melody for playback. Let's make this is the last one. No. Choose we'll... a melody for playback. Choose this one. Choose no, I don't a want melody that one. for playback. Choose a melody for playback. Choose You've already a done that. Let's carry that back to me. Old Virginie. We'll go for old MacDonald. So that's all I have to review of this uh, Oregon Scientific Educational Talking Desktop. See you next time. Man, I had a lot of fun playing with this thing back when I was young. So this thing, I'll just keep it for nostalgia purposes because after all, it, I do like to review vintage stuff. Let me know if you've got one of these in the comments and... Um, Oh, by the way, um, here's something I forgot to show you here, is where you could put in a little additional card, which gives you additional, um, I think it just expanded the computer, so that you had, a, had additional um, games and stuff, but Oregon Scientific don't sell those no more, so you'd probably be lucky to find one on eBay, 
But if anyone tell if anyone has one of those cards and can tell me what the content was on them, I'd be uh, please feel free to do so in the comments. That was my review of the Oregon Scientific Educational Talking Desktop Desktop Computer. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, stop recording video button. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jordan signing off saying have a good day everyone.